Hey guys, we have something a little bit different today. So we decided that we were going to look through the MLS listings and um, pick a house that Mike liked, two houses actually, that yeah. Mike likes and two houses that I like that we would seriously consider buying. So um, he hasn't seen mine yet and I haven't seen his. So yeah. We're doing this uh, together and um, should be fun. Yeah, and how this started, we were with some friends and I was talking about, oh, you know, there's so many places in the world I could actually live and be happy. It's it's just an amazing. And then Ecuador is exactly the same. It's such a, a diverse country with all the different areas and climates mm -hmm. and everything. So we thought this would be a fun activity. And one thing we should point out, all of the houses on here, um, we're just doing it online. We'll give you links so that you can go look at them in more detail. And of course, we're not being paid for any of this. If you no. go buy one of these ones, we don't get anything. We're not promoting these particular houses. It's these just are a just houses. Fun little we, yeah, experiment that, that we, we thought we'd do together. Right. So. so let's get started with the first one. Okay. So my first one is called the Smart Eco Home. And um, it's in um, El Cajas. Is that how you pronounce yeah, it's it? It's the park. Is it in beside the park? I think it's in there somewhere. Okay. Anyway, it says it's 30 minutes from Cuenca. So um, I do love the Cuenca area, but uh, I certainly wouldn't want to live in Cuenca because I'm not a city girl. I'm more yeah. of a Both of us are the same now, country yeah. girl. So uh, 30 minutes away to me would be like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> and uh, so this house is... So that's um, it there on the screen, right? Yeah, that is it. So what did you call this house? So each house here, we have four, we have an I eight. already said, it's called the Smart Eco House. I missed that. You did miss that, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> smart Eco. It looks like an Eco, eco Home. It is. It's kind of cool. So this house has... You four... tell me when you want to go to the next picture, okay? Okay. This house has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. And um, it's actually owned, the previous, like the actual owner right now is an ecuadorian architect who's very well known so you know if he's living there then it's got to be pretty darn good right i would hope so yeah it's got to be pretty darn good. how much does it cost so this one was built in 2012 and this house costs okay three hundred and ninety thousand dollars. oh yeah so we so we did have a limit we, we did. said we four hundred thousand four hundred thousand we weren't looking at anything yeah. over four hundred thousand Okay, let's... you went right up to the top, didn't uh, you? You spend you know every me. penny just you like you me, always Michael. do. You know me. Yep. <laughs> okay. So here's some of the pictures of. So this we're gonna place. look at this place. Okay. Love the views of this. Uh, okay. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So it's very modern, and it's like kind of like a treehouse, like up in the sky. Yeah, that view is incredible. It is right. Continue there. So one thing that's pretty cool with this house is that there's two different levels, so two different uh, living spaces. So even though it's like a four bedroom, three bath, there's a um, top part to this house, and uh, the top part has two bedrooms. And um, this is perfect for us. You could live on one I know. side, and I could live on. Is that why you picked it? So we wouldn't have to live together. <laughs> Boy, I'm kind of offended now. <laughs> so, yeah, there's two different levels with this house, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, um, continue in with some of the pictures here. Yeah, that view. Like the view yeah. is absolutely spectacular. Like, like I could stay there all day just looking out my windows or walking around that property. Oh, we're so remote. We would be staying there all day. And we are kind of homebodies. We as we discovered since we have moved to Ecuador, we thought we'd be yeah. eating out with friends all the time. We hardly ever do that. Yeah. We we're, we stay in our garden and everything. So Will, Willow's continue. really trying to be part of this, uh, of this video. <laughs> Okay. okay continue oh wow isn't that cool it's like actually like hanging over a cliff kind of like yeah so nice. you you're not seeing anything underneath you you're just like in the sky so cool there it is look you can see like look at all that yeah beautiful 
yeah. it's landscaping is just absolutely spectacular. Yeah. So we keep going. Oh, there we now go. Now we're inside. So this is the top uh, main level. And um, the main level has 1,830 square feet. So there's a beautiful living room, nice big windows. Uh, I love the ceiling up there. There's a fireplace for uh, yeah, those beautiful. chilly nights. I love the brick. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The, the kitchen is gorgeous. Look at that kitchen. Nice stove, venting system in there. Like, you could cook in that kitchen very easily. Look at that beautiful fridge. Yeah, no, no, this is a beautiful place. Yeah. One thing I will say, um, the flooring was, um, uh, what, what exactly was it here? So it says, uh, the flooring is German floating floors, and some of them are actually heated, <coughs> which is kind of cool. Well, you're... <laughs> In Cuenca, or um, yep. it might even be a little higher than Cuenca. The, so, it looks like here. Another thing with this place, um, it has a lot of upgrades, and the upgrades come from Spain, Italy, Germany, and Chile. So, um, you're well prepared for this. Yeah, you spent every like, dollar of the 400,000. You're darn right, there. you're darn right. right, Michael. So, continue there. Beautiful kitchen, love it. Plenty of storage. Love that fridge. Oh, Look at that wraparound um, balcony there. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I could sit out there and have a glass of wine with you. Yeah, don't get too excited. <laughs> We're still living on the coast, okay? <laughs> you're, you're not... okay. All right, continue there. I guess you're going to find another guy and move him to that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love the mountain. Yeah, it, it's all about the view. The house yeah. is gorgeous, but it's all mm. about the It is all about the, the view. view. Yeah. 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 Love it. Continue. Look at those ceilings in the bedroom there. So this bedroom is obviously upstairs. So two bedrooms up. And two down. So There's a, the bathroom. Yeah. Gorgeous big bathroom. It's gorgeous there's another bedroom up atop there another bathroom little office so you can see that there's the downstairs so now we're into the downstairs part of it and um it has 818 square feet downstairs here this is the part I would live in. This is where you would live, yes. You get the nice area with all of the views and everything. And that's I'm, right. And I'm in the basement. This is kind of typical, yeah. But that space is gorgeous. It has its own little kitchen yeah, down there. That's so all I need. Perfect. You could rent it out or it's yeah. a great space if you have company. Yeah. Yeah. They could totally do their own thing. Hang out on the deck and have wine at night. So there's another uh, bedroom that's downstairs. You can just lock the, your kids away down there, right? If you you kids, could. If you have kids, you, just, you don't want to see there. them. You put them down there. Come up for supper. <laughs> there you go. Perfect, right? Have a little intercom. So there's the other bathroom there. We got laundry facilities, of course. And they did talk about this little area down here. Perfect if you're like, Prepper, and prepper. <laughs> you, you, you need to sell me. You need this all area. this uh, space for. Oh, look at all those I things. know, for water, food, whatever. Kind of cool, eh? Yeah, it's great. Yes. Yeah. So there we go. So I'll just uh, wrap it up again, yep. continue there. But uh, yeah, so this one was 390,000 is the asking price for this. And it has four acres of land that comes with oh, it. Oh, four acres. Yeah. That's a big property. Yeah, yeah, four acres. Wow. Um, yeah, four bedroom, three bathroom, 
two two the spaces divided isn't that beautiful yeah like i could seriously stay there all the time so then you're like 30 minutes away from cuenca you want to go into cuenca do some shopping have a day out have a check to see whether it's on Airbnb. We could stay there for Ooh, a week, I a week or two. Never did. Maybe we should check there it you out. Go. She's going to be checking. I that. can ask. I can ask the agent. I can put a little note. So the agent uh, who is selling this is actually the agent that uh, we used before, Ashley Rogers, for one of our videos. For yeah. one of our videos, yeah. So um, I love Ashley's website. Everything is spectacular on there. She has. Everything you need has major good write-up on the whole place. Her pictures are fantastic. Very professional. Love Ashley's stuff. Yeah, so you can find, there's the there's the uh, name of her company there. Yep. yep. And uh, we'll have a link in the Yeah, so if you want to check out this house on your own, then uh, there you go. Check it out online or give Ashley a call, I guess, whatever. And if you do buy it, we'd love to come and see it. <laughs> yeah. Invite yeah, us. Yeah, if you do buy it, invite us over. <laughs> okay, okay, let's so uh, let's go on to the next one. That's it. Yes. All right. So that was mine, my first one. So, Mike, what have you prepared for me to see? First, Where would you have us living? First of all, look at that house. It's pretty unique. I always had this thing for castles when I yeah. went to. Ireland and England and Wales. I always looked at the castles and the cathedrals were amazing too. But look at that place. It's pretty cool. Okay? It's unique. It is yeah. very unique. And yeah. we didn't, when we talked to each other, we didn't go say, oh, go find all these no. unique, crazy places. No, no. We just did that on our own. We did, yeah. Because I guess that's who we are. I don't know. We love real estate. Anyway, this one, that. unlike you spending the full 400000 <laughs> this one is uh only um uh 250,000. Okay, all right. And it's built in 2015. So if we bought this one, there's extra money for me to go shopping for to uh do the decor on this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's in so I took a little bit more risk than you. You okay. went outside of Cuenca. I'm in Esmeralda's province. Mm -hmm. I thought about going uh, up there. I know. I went up there. You know, things are pretty good right now, eh? The president's doing great. Mm -hmm. You know, the crime's down significantly. So I headed up to Esmeralda. Okay. Because good for there's you. lots of... Uh, it looks beautiful up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of the things that we love are up there as well. Mm -hmm. All of the yeah. uh, the vegetation and everything. Yeah. Um, so it's waterfront. Okay. Uh, 1,053 uh, meters squared lot so that's about uh, 11 uh, 11 000 square feet and it's within a compound um and get okay. this it's in the and i'm gonna mispronounce it obviously uh the playa escondida ecological reserve okay. um so it's on this reserve it's great and it's not even in the main part of the reserve it's further back so you're pretty remote you're 25 kilometers from uh at the Comes. Um, so that's where you would do uh, some of your uh, some of your shopping. So let's go <laughs> let's go look at this this cool place. Like look at that. That's pretty cool, yeah. Now the top floor, there's a bit of a catch that it's two hundred and fifty thousand that I can tell anyway. Is it's um, uh, the top floor is not finished. Yeah. It's the ground floor and the second floor. But look at that top. You can finish it off any way you want like i love the roundedness yeah it's isn't really that amazing cool. yeah it's pretty cool okay so look at that eh like that is the front of the house i'm assuming Do you think <laughs> i know i haven't been there you know i didn't go and drive there to check it out first Got a cool door, yeah. so I'm assuming that this is the front of the house. It looks like a yeah, it looks like that's house. the ocean in the back. So I think you're in the back of the house if you call the one that faces the ocean in the front. Okay, yeah, right. Like, look at that. Cool. Doesn't it give that nice feel, like that sort of European? It does that actually have a European feel to it. And the stairs. Uh, I wish we had more pictures, but the stairs you can see them going up because they'd be circular, right? Because mm, yeah. the whole place is circular. Yeah. So all the stairs. Well, you can would tell be circular with that picture that they're definitely circular. Remember, two hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. 
And look at that view. There's your ocean. Yeah, nice view. Nice yellow tree. And all of the, uh, there's a bunch of fruit trees on the property, and uh, all of the other trees are uh, second growth trees. Cool. Like, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful property right down into the ocean. Eh? It is, yeah. Very nice. Like, come on. Yeah. We've got to check this if it's on Airbnb as well. <laughs> That's cool. Of course, everyone else is going to book these on Airbnb before we do, I and we'll be booked out. Or who knows? They might buy them, but who knows? But to, wow. to us, these are pretty cool houses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the uh, wood beams. Yeah, aren't mm -hmm. they amazing? Mm -hmm. And because it was built in 2015, another fun fact here is um, that means it survived the 2016 earthquake. Okay, there you go. It actually says that on the site as well. <clears throat> no, no damage. So you can kind of make this, you know, any way you want. Yeah. So many little rooms. I like the uh, round door there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And the other door. Is the stairs, opens, right? Yeah, with the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. There's the outside again. I think we're. Nice. Almost done here. So this property is um, listed, let me get this right here, with Ecuador Coastal Properties. And um, the listing agent is Garrett Parker. And we'll put a link for his contact information if you want to follow up and find out more information about this property. Cool. Okay, Chris, you got the next one here. Back to you again. Did okay. you spend all the 400000 no. this time this too? This one is uh, a little cheaper for your liking. Okay. <laughs> How much is this? So I'm going to call this one okay. the Mountain Retreat. Mountain Retreat. And okay. this one is $259,000. Oh, that's okay. So uh, it's three bedroom, two bath, and it actually has an attic, a usable space. So it could be a fourth bedroom if you wanted it to be. Okay, so where are we? Okay, so this is just outside of Cuenca. Again, well. you yes. get two out of I, I actually Cuenca. really that area okay. so yeah i would live there you realize that since you picked two outside of cuenca ashley's going to be calling you and sending you more homes <laughs> you never know telling us are you too hot on the coast it's time to move to cuenca this is ashley's uh, ashley rogers listing yeah. as well so um but if, this one's a little farther out this one is 45 minutes from cuenca and i actually can't Ooh, even that's a little far for me pronounce the name is it Hayden Wallacio. <laughs> well, we're going to get a few comments on telling you how to pronounce that. Yes, yes. So anyway, let's have a look at this place. I love that fence for one. It's got like the stone and the wood fence. That's nice. Ooh. How many, did you say how many bedrooms? Uh, three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Two bath, but the attic could be fourth bedroom as well. I like the stone on there. Dartboard. Oh, nice. Yes. So some more nice views of this place. Very nice. Yep. You're like right up in the mountains, right? So obviously what I really like are our views. Wow. Yes, look at that. You can actually see the um, river flowing there. Okay, so this is the inside. This place to me, I love the I love the inside. It looks unique and cozy. Um, it's maybe a little bit too cluttered for for my liking, but if I could go in there and crissify this, <laughs> yeah. oh, please let me into your home you and I can say that more slowly it. so that people understand. You didn't say crucify. No, crissify. Yes, please. yes. I beautify it with my 
yes. talents. Yes. Chris, back in Canada, Chris had a decor store, and that's one of the services she offered was to crucify was please. to uh, <laughs> do interior decorating for people's homes. So, but like I love uh, the different levels there. I love the color. Look at that huge window. It's just uh, so cool. Um, nice big fireplace in there as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm not as big a fan of this one. Okay. So right. far, but okay. something something Continue. can change my mind. See, look at that big window out there. Yeah, you can that's see cool. the views still. Yeah. I wouldn't have that other couch there because, you know, whatever. Yeah. But okay. Vaulted ceilings. Yeah, I love the high ceilings. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Continue. Now we're into um like the dining area yeah again big ceilings and big windows and you can see that it's uh the nice big kitchen back there yeah so we're going to go into the kitchen area i believe next well maybe not quite <laughs> you can still see the great views there here's the go. kitchen such a nice big. Uh, big roomy kitchen Nice big window when you're doing your dishes or whatever. Love it. Like to me, this place is unique and it has a little pizzazz to it. And it's, it seems it's, pretty homey too. Actually. It's got yeah. character. Yeah. I like the character of this house for sure. Yeah. There's a bedroom. Oh, a big nice window right off. I know, right? From the bed, right? Yes. Imagine waking up and seeing that view every day. And it's on my side of the bed. You it actually is on your side. Yeah, okay. you wouldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. So you can see there's a bathroom off to the side. There it Here's is. There's the bathroom. Another bedroom. Another bathroom. And another bedroom yet. Now, this is Mike's space. This yes, is this the is where, attic. This is where I'm allowed to put my stuff. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, I thought this would be perfect for us because you can put your little living room up there, your your big screen TV, your speakers. You can have your whole this thing up there. This is why you picked this place, right? And you're not messing up my house. <laughs> you're messing up the attic. She's not just kidding, by the way. This is exactly how she feels. I am just kidding. Yeah, I no, am you're kidding. not. Not at all. But anyway, it's a it's a pretty cool space up there. Every so man you... knows what I'm going through. <laughs> you actually could um, put another bedroom up there or another living space and that's the tv watching area which we kind of like to do so yeah it's cool eh? yeah no it's nice and there you're looking down into the living room area and we're outside on the porch looking out at your your lawn your mountains little shed for you the dog does not come with it i don't Lucas. think so i don't think so i don't think i can handle a third dog yeah right no here. willow is hoping that no dog is included <laughs> but look at that space yeah yeah it's a great house in a great location and i'll just say again two hundred and fifty nine thousand. And uh, again, it's listed with Ashley Rogers. Okay. All right. Now your turn, Michael. Your last one. Okay. So believe it or not, for my last one, I actually chose a place just outside of Quank as well. That's funny, eh? Yeah. Three of our four places we picked just outside of Quanka yeah. because we don't we we love Quanka, but we're not we're not city people. But yeah. And so, and really, the views there are amazing. Yeah. Now, the difference with my place, okay, is what? is it's only fifteen minutes from Cuenca. That's pretty good. So this is good. really close, yeah. which probably drives the price up a little bit okay. because this one, how much is, is three hundred and fifty-nine thousand dollars? 
Okay. And I call this one living in luxury. Living in luxury. Well, okay. they call it the the they call it that. I stole it from the website, but it actually is. So the lot, nice size lot. Okay. For being that close. Yeah. It's one thousand two hundred and seventy-seven meters squared, um, which is about uh, fourteen hundred uh, uh, fourteen thousand. Yes, fourteen thousand square feet lot. Now the living space, get this, the living space is 4,227 square feet. So this is a big home, four okay. bedroom, five bath, and there's a little surprise at the end. Okay, all right. Oh, a place for me to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a place for you to live. Yes. Okay, so let's okay. get going and seeing this place. All right, I'm excited. Now there's the property. Oh, nice property. Nice, eh? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Living you know what? Luxury. I did see this one. When you were looking and you didn't pick it. I didn't. I picked the other one instead, yeah. but I did like this one. So we almost picked the same house. That would have been a sign. Yeah. And the tile is similar to what we have in our yes. living room now. Yep. I kind of like that. Yeah, nice. White or off white. Yeah. Beautiful kitchen. Yeah. I like um, how the stove is actually in the middle of, yeah. of the room. Yeah, very, very modern mm -hmm. home. Yeah. It's your dining room. And a, and a traditional dining room, which yep. I actually like. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you can see open spaces, right? Which, which I just love, rather mm -hmm. than all these sort of cramped in yes. rooms all attached by hallways. Now I too am um, not exactly like in this place as much uh, from your first oh, one. Oh, come on, come on. I, I'm just saying, What's wrong with one that? of the things I didn't like about this house was uh, it looked like it's too spacious. That's a lot of cleaning. Like I do my own cleaning, so. Oh, you don't have to. If you're yeah, but that's a this lot place. of cleaning. Like that's a lot of space, empty space. Okay, let's go on to the next but, one. But I still like it, yeah. There's a washroom. Nice washroom. Nice big bedroom. Yep. An area to work. Nice good uh, closet space. Yeah. Yep. And if you're buying big homes like this, you 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 do need someone to help clean stuff, which is very affordable in Ecuador. That is true. It is. I just I prefer to do cleaning because I like my own cleaning. Nice bathroom. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a nice bedroom. Right again, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know whether they, it looks like they may open up. I like how the window goes down, close down yeah. to the floor. That's nice. Eh? Full size windows, yeah. Very nice. Yes, that. That's pretty cool. Now Are look, now if you're, chilly Cuenca nights. If you're in Cuenca, you're not looking for an air conditioner. No, you're looking for a sauna. Yeah. Never skip the heater. If you're if you're getting in, in, into a nice, like, wouldn't it be nice when you're kind of chilly? Oh, I'm heading off to the sauna. Yeah, I could see you doing. That. I could. I'd be in this sauna every every you would. night. You would. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And this would be where I get to spend time. <laughs> you kick <laughs> away me out from here. me. Away, away from, from me. Yeah. So one of the, the the bonus one with this is you is there's a one bedroom um, uh, casita. Uh, yeah, casita. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Which is quite nice. Eh? Yeah. So that's this one. This property is with um, CuencaBestProperties.com. You can see it's actually on all of the pictures here in the background, the website. And the listing agent is uh, Veronica RP. So um, great place. So which one do you prefer out of all of them? So are we going to do like a um, House Hunter International thing where we Yeah, which one? Eliminate? We have to pick one We're that we eliminate? both agree on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would, I would say the one we eliminate is the ranch. Your ranch bungalow. The, my mountain one. retreat. Your mountain retreat. No, yeah. no. I, I think, just didn't like that. Honestly, one. I think this one is the one we eliminate. Oh, come on. This is going for number one. 
No, it's not number one. So you're vetoing this one. I would veto it. And this. I'm vetoing the other one. Okay, so then. So that so those so those two are gone. Those then. two are gone. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, right, we so. have a in our relationship we have a veto. Yeah. If it's something we just don't like, rather than arguing about it to death, someone gets to veto something. Okay, right? so then it comes down to my first one, which was the smart eco home. Yeah, I like and, that. And yours was the Esmeraldas. Esmeraldas. Oh boy, that's tough. It's a tough one. You know, I, I like, I like, I prefer the look and feel of the Esmeraldas home. However, I am getting older, and I just think there may be more upkeep. There may be it's so so remote. Although the eco home is pretty remote too, actually. I love the views of that eco home. Eco home. Yeah. I mean, the views there, I could sit there and look out the window all yeah, day, yeah. every day. Yeah. And... Okay, let's go with the eco home. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. He's dead. Okay, here we go. Eco home. Here we go. <laughs> now go find it on Airbnb <laughs> and we'll do another video from the eco home on Airbnb. <laughs> here we go. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Good. If you uh, if you enjoyed this and you want similar vid uh, videos, you want us to pick uh, more from particular cities, uh, we'd love to do that. So just let us know in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. And, uh, and remember, live the life you love. Thanks a lot. Take care. <laughs>